Okay, question 15 could be quite difficult. We've got four children in a race. Chen, Alfie, Nina and Megan. But notice that Alfie and Megan get mentioned twice. So we've got to be really careful there. We've got to figure out what order the runners are running in, starting with the child who's fearless to head. And we've got some clues to help us. These are three clues. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is instead of having six names mentioned, I'm going to write down the four names because two of the names are mentioned twice. So we've got Chen, we've got Alfie, we've got Nina, and we've got Megan. Now the easiest thing to do is because we don't know exactly how far each person has run, just pick a number and assign it to one of the people and then we use the clues to work forwards and backwards from that number. So for example, if I just say that Alfie has run 100 meters, I don't know if that's true. He might have run more than 100 meters, he might have run less than 100 meters, but now I can actually use the clues. So Chen would be two meters ahead of Alfie, so Chen would actually be 102 meters. Alfie would be three meters behind Megan, so 100 meters has got to be three meters behind Megan's, so 100 is actually 3 metres behind 103. And the other clue is that Nina is 5 behind Megan. So if Megan's on 103, Nina would have to be on 98, because that's 5 behind. Now, these may not actually be the distances, but that doesn't matter, because what I'm interested in is who's furthest ahead. So based on Alfie having run 100, furthest ahead would be Megan. So I'm going to get Megan. 103. Next one would be 102, which would be Chen. Next one would be Alfie on 100. And the smallest distance, furthest behind, would be Nina on 98. Now you may think, well, what happens if you picked a different number? What happens if I didn't pick 100 to begin with? Well, let's try it. So let's rub those out. Let's just pick another number. Let's just pick a random number. So let's say, instead of picking 100 meters for Alfie, let's pick 27 meters for Alfie. Let's try and use the same sort of clues. Well, Chen t is two meters ahead of that. So Chen is going to be two meters ahead of 27, which would be 29 meters. Alfie's three meters behind Megan. Well, 27 three is going to be three meters behind Megan. So that means Megan must be three meters ahead of 27 which would be 30 metres. The only person we haven't got is Nina. Nina's 5 metres behind Megan. 5 metres behind 30 metres would be 25 metres. Now if you've got, ended up with completely different numbers, but the order, which is what is the important thing, is ended up exactly the same. Megan is in first place with 30. Chen's in second place with 29. Alfie's in third place with 27. And Nina's bringing up the rear in last place with 25. So all you need to do is assign a number to one of the people and then use the clues to try and fill in the other numbers and then you can get the order from that. Job done.